what's up? My name is Technobber here for Troubleshoot and in this quick video I'll be showing you how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.17 that is now fully released. Number one, you'll need Minecraft installed and fully running. So I'll fire up the Minecraft launcher and I'll launch 1.17 at least once before continuing with this tutorial. To do this, head across to Minecraft Java Edition and simply select the latest release 1.17. If you don't see this, in the Installations tab, you'll be able to create a new installation and select the version from here. Regardless, once you have it selected, click play and wait for the download to finish. After the game fully opens up, we'll be able to download and install Optifine. But lucky you, while this is downloading, we can go ahead and download Optifine to save time. In the description down below, you'll find a link to optifine.net slash downloads. Heading across to this link, nice and easily at the very top, you'll see Minecraft 1.17. Click the plus next to preview versions and then download the latest version over here, the one with the highest available number. So I'll click download next to pre-18, which is currently the latest release, though of course for you it may be a different number. After this ad is shown to us, in the very top right you'll see a skip button after a couple of seconds. Clicking skip, you now see a download button. Clicking this will download a file immediately. This file is a .jar, so you do need Java installed. Click keep, and as long as you see a coffee cup icon next to it, you'll be able to click on it and open it up as a normal program. There is of course 1.17 running in the background. Now that it's launched at least once, we can get to installing Optifine. So I've opened up the Optifine installer over here. All you have to do is click the install button and wait for this to finish. After it's finished, you can click OK and once again open up the Minecraft launcher. After doing this, head across to the Minecraft Java Edition tab and then simply select Optifine from the Releases tab over here. After selecting Minecraft 1.17 Optifine, you'll be prompted about this, click the checkbox and then click Play. Then you'll simply launch up into Optifine 1.17, letting you play on all of your favorite servers with much, much better FPS. And of course it works as per usual. In the bottom left you can see it's modded and if we head into the options screen, video settings, you can see Optifine HD G9 Pre-18 Ultra and all of the settings that come along with it. So what exactly do we do if you don't have a coffee cup icon and opening the jar file does nothing? Well, all we have to do is download the latest version of Java. If you go ahead and Google for download Java, the first link will take you across to the old download page for Java version 8. This version is no longer compatible with the latest version of Minecraft and downloading this will not help you. Do not come over to this page over here. Instead, you'll be heading across to the Java SE Downloads page, which will be linked in the description down below. This page over here. Simply look for Java SE 16 and then click JDK Download next to Oracle JDK. Then you'll be taken across to this page over here, which I'll probably link to directly instead. Scrolling down on this page, you'll find a bunch of download links over here. What you need to do is download and install the version that matches your computer. Yours will probably be the Windows X64 installer. Click the button to the very far right of it, click the I review button, and then click the download button to download the latest version of Java 16. All you have to do from here is open up the installer, click yes when prompted for admin, and follow through with the install steps. For me, it's saying I already have it installed, so I'll click no here. But regardless, once you've done that, you should see a Java icon next to the .jar file that we downloaded, and you should be able to open it up and play Minecraft as per usual. However, if for some reason you're not able to open the .jar file, look in the description down below for a link to a jar fix video where you'll learn how you can fix that issue. If you're interested in hosting a Minecraft 1.17 server, port forwarding and the rest, you'll find another link in the description down below with a video showing you how to do that, as well as a plethora of other Minecraft videos on my channel. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, my name's been Technober here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!